Hi, welcome to tonight's devotional. I'm Becky Robert, and I'm coming to you from St. Matthew's United Methodist Church, Bowie, Maryland. Today is Monday, November 23rd. I can't believe that Thanksgiving is Thursday. Do you agree with me when I say, it seems like just yesterday was March, and then other days it's forever. I know that some of our Thanksgivings will look different. Um, there will not be people around the table that are normally there. We or we have not traveled to see family and friends, but we still have very, very much to be thankful for. You know, the farmers always stop and look at the bountiful harvest at the end of a long summer and give thanks to God. And we too need to stop and give thanks to God for all he has given us. We are blessed. Everything we want may not be in our houses, but what we need, but what we need is there and we should be thankful. David said in the Bible, in Psalm 9, 1 through 2, I will thank you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all the marvelous things you have done. I will be filled with joy because of you. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. God loves to hear us. He takes great pleasure in receiving our thanks and our love. He cares deeply about everything that affects our lives. Talk to him. Tell him whatever is on your heart. He understands and wants to meet your needs. Your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Matthew 6, 32-34 One day, my friend asked her, my friend's daughter asked her to clean a special outfit for her to wear to school the next day. She took the time and made sure it was all ready for her daughter. And as is sometimes with busy teens, she didn't say thank you. When her mom mentioned it to her, she seemed surprised. She felt it was her mother's job to have her clothes ready. And my friend was really hurt. She was expecting a thank you. I believe God feels the same way when we don't stop and show our a grateful heart for all he does for us. He wants us to be thankful. We should not look at him and expect that it's his job to bless us without a thank you in return. Just like my friend's daughter who needed a reminder to appreciate the things she has, the family she is blessed with, and to be thankful for the loving Heavenly Father who watches over her, we too need, need to be reminded. How great is the Father's love for us. How awesome are his deeds. Let us rejoice and be thankful to him and bless his name. Give thanks to God for he is God, for he is good and his mercy is everlasting. Great is the love of our God. Let's give thanks. So now I am going to talk about the Advent bags. Do you think I'm a little obsessed? So just to go over what is in them, and then we will say our, our prayer. So this year, we want to, us to be connected since we are apart. Um, and we are providing you with an Advent bag. These bags can be picked up starting Wednesday in the Northrix. And um, if you are unable to come to church, you're not feeling comfortable or you don't can't do that, please give us a call or email me and uh, we will have them delivered to you. Advent starts on Sunday, November 29th. That is also when we are doing communion and you can pick them up during communion if you like. So they will come with an adult devotional for Advent, a children's devotional, and this, this has stickers. I'm very excited. And then it also comes with this poster. And it's the way in the manger for the stickers to go on. That'll be fun. You will receive Advent candles. And this year they are the tea light battery operated so that they are kid friendly. And you will receive two candles with candle holders 
for our Christmas Eve service so that when we're lighting the candles in sanctuary, you also can light your candles at home. Just please be careful. Um, you will receive a letter or a little note from Pastor Mark. And I have included a note in there on what this all is just to keep you updated. And Isaac has been kind enough to list our devotionals for Advent season. Um, I will tell you that I'll be coming to you every Wednesday with the children's devotional. So please join me. The last thing is our Advent um, activity family calendar. I'm very excited. There are things you can do every day and there are some lots of fun things. Um, you can have a dance party or do a chore without being asked. So there's lots of lots of things we're going to build together and I just ask, the only thing I ask is that please send me pictures. If you're doing them, please send me pictures, young or old. And children of all ages may join us, but please send me pictures. I want to see, and we want to post them on our website. So I'm looking forward to that. And remember, you can pick that up um, starting Wednesday, the 25th, or Sunday for communion. And then Sunday evening, you could have your candles and everything ready for, ad for Advent. So thank you all. It's going to be fun. Let me know what you think. So let us take a moment to pray, please. We give thanks to you, our God, for the gift of the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to you, our God, that through him we have eternal life. We thank you for the sun by day and the stars that light the night, for the seasons that never fail to change and the darkness that gives way to light. We thank you, Lord, for daily bread and for your mercy and your grace. We thank you for the air we breathe and the blessings that come by faith. We thank you, Lord, for joy, joy and sorrow, for our tears and for our smiles. We thank you for family and friends and all those you put in our lives. We thank you for what you have kept us from and for what you have brought us through, the danger we couldn't even see and the times we didn't know what to do. We give you praise, O Lord, our God, and humbly thank you for everything, for life and health and well-being, and all the good the year will bring. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.